Oh, what's crack lacking, guys? So how's it going everyone? So before this episode, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and we're gonna produce, keep on producing good videos. You guys, we wanna say thank you to all the guys that have already subscribed. You guys have helped us so much. All the big thumbs up have really helped our channel a lot. So a big thank you for that. Thanks for everyone that's supporting us, and helping us, the emails, the mails. Um, the awesome comments keeps us going on. So keep them coming. We appreciate it a lot. Big time, thank you. And uh, just so we can answer some people's questions, Ricky has no history whatsoever when it comes to carpentry. This is the first time for him. But to all the guys watching, I'm not a carpenter at all. I actually qualified as a mechanical engineer. That's what I did um, prior to this. I did do some. I did do quite a bit of research, and I spoke to a lot of guys that are carpenters and that and um, read a couple of books, picked up some carpentry tips, some previous boat builders and um, nonetheless we're not doing a complete boat build. Um, I don't want to take credit away from guys that are doing a complete boat build that did the hull oh, and everything. Um, big credit to those guys, it's a heap ton of work man. So if you guys are thinking about it and our channel motivates you to go do your own boat, um, just prepare, it's going to be tough, it's going to be really tough. Um, it's a lot of a lot of hard work if you're doing it yourself. And it can be extremely frustrating. Yeah, it can. You're gonna hear a lot of ups and downs. You, your patience level will increase tremendously, <laughs> and you'll probably swear quite a bit. And then also when it comes to our finances and stuff, we will at the end of our whole boat building experience, just before we plan on setting sail. We'll do a sit down video with you guys and talk about how much we've spent on everything and our total budget and so forth. So yeah, stay tuned for that as well and then... Stay tuned, that's going to be a shocker to a lot of people. Eh? And um, some good news is that the, the way the financials are going and yes, we're all a little bit over budget, it will be very surprising to actually how much we complete this boat for. And thanks for watching. It was time to start working on our head. So first things first, it was time to put in our toilet. We decided to use part of our old floor because well there was nothing wrong with it. So we'll give her a bit of TLC and she'll look good as new again. Ricky cut and fit out the bench we'd be installing in the shower as well as the wall we'd be placing made of nidacore sheet to prevent the floor, basin and toilet from getting wet. It was time to put it all together with some polyester fillets. As you can see now, this is the bench to our shower. So when you're taking a lacquer wash, you can have a sit down in the shower. That's the purpose of the bench in the shower. And that's going to be the wall that's coming up as the divider. So before, when you took a shower or a bath, you wet the whole place, even the toilet and the toilet paper got wet. And now, when you take a shower, it will be in the shower. So that's, this will become the, the dividing wall on the one side. And then on the other side we'll put a little trim, also a line of nitrical, and then we'll put a nice polycarbonate or glass door. Still deciding on that. 
Put it in the two tabs just to hold it up at 90 degrees. And then on the bottom side, I just dabbed the middle in because it was already there. So I thought, well, just give it some break. So I put a fillet in the middle and then two layers of chop. And top of the chop, I put a, a layer of um, peel ply. So when I pull it away, you wouldn't even know it was a join there. It was just awesome. We then started cutting out our template to make our plug for our base and cabinetry. That Sunday, we decided to go check out the Ironman African Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, at only 24 years of age, representing Great Britain, this is your Stanamite Ironman African Champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Ironman Lanzarote, second place at the Ironman World Championship, Kona, Hawaii, 2017. But it was back to work and to check if our basin would fit. She was good to go, so we sanded down the plug and got ready to cut out fiberglass and fiberglass her up. I put on some mold release before we put the fiberglass down. So I put in the two coats of um, PVA release and then as my base and now I'm adding Canuba wax for the final release just to I have triple protection. If you glance at it from the side, you can see where it's been on or not. And then we're just going to let this until it just mats off, so it dries until it mats off, and then we're good to go. We'll start pulling out our plug. So we're using it as a plug, not as a mold. And um, so yeah, but obviously. Using it as a mold would have been better, but, um, but I don't want to risk the in using the internal and then I have problems. So. And um, obviously I'm not going to spend 50 hours on a mold that is going to be a once-off throw away. So, the time. The best stuff to build the stuff out of is actually uh, super wood. Super wood's way better to build um, plugs and molds out of because it's round. We're saving money. But we saving money, I had the material, I had the stuff from the cutoffs from the sheets that we built from the laminating press, so using this it would have fine. Make sure that I get all these edges covered because if a bit of resin goes in there it might make the mold hold on to it a little bit.
We also started making our shy floor, which I completely forgot to press record on the camera. But we placed six layers of fiberglass to make her nice and stiff. And that was our finished product. So for this one, instead of creating a mold and pulling it out of the mold, because the shower base is not is not square where it goes into, we've built uh, the panel that we forgot to record for you guys, but we'll talk about. And um, so we've cut out a panel out of there. It's just solid fiberglass. And so we've done the build up for the frame and around, so it can have a pan in a sense. And uh, now we, after using the the glue gun, we'll glue it on all the sections, we'll flip it over, we'll gloss the back side and then we'll gloss this side and we'll put a layer of peel ply which will allow it to go perfectly smooth. We then placed more fiberglass onto the basin just to stiffen her up as well. Fit in our shower floor and place a layer of fiberglass onto her with peel ply just to give her a more smooth finish. Stay tuned till next week where we show you another one of Ricky's famous recipes. Help our neighbor Mike out. and do our good deed of the day. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already and give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you would like to join our awesome patrons and become one yourself, a link is provided below. Thanks to our awesome three new patrons, Freedom Falls, also known as John, Neo, and Ryan and Genevieve Avery. Your donation appreciated tremendously.